Hi everyone, thanks for joining us. Today we're going to be demonstrating the Certicord Enterprise Management Console by Revisent. Certicord Enterprise is a fully automated X509 digital certificate management platform. It's a certificate management bridge or CMB between endpoints and certificate authorities. It allows you to create and automatically renew certificates on Linux, Mac, Unix, and Windows from Microsoft ADCS and other CA platforms. There's no manual processes involved. There's no forgotten or expired certificates. Let's begin our overview of Certicord Enterprise, starting with the login screen. So here you can log in using a local account that's defined in the product or with Active Directory credentials that have been uh, set up in the product to be authorized to have access. Once you get logged in, you'll see our dashboard, which shows you a highlights uh, shows you highlights of the major entity types we have, which are certificates and devices. So we're going to start on the devices side here. So the devices page shows you all the devices that have registered with the product. So each of these devices has the Circord Enterprise agent on it, and each of these devices has been registered uh, from the agent. So once that registration is performed, they will appear here and you can select and view individual devices. Uh, you can see its host name, uh, the version of the agent, the operating system, uh, who registered the device, the registered by, uh, person here, as long as when the registration was created and when it was submitted. Also on the screen down here in this section um, is the uh, and, uh, is the list of certificates that have been issued to this device uh, through Circord. Uh, so this is a complete list of all the certificates. Uh, this particular device has a single certificate. That is the product certificate. Uh, you can see by its purpose of product agent. Um, the next thing we'll show you are the uh, certificate, uh, excuse me, the device approvals. One of the uh, many ways you can control registration access to this product is through um, manual approval. Um, in this case, this device here um, has registered, but it, until the approval is um, approved, uh, until the registration is approved, the registration will not be valid. So here you would come in, you select the device and do an up arrow. And once you do that, the device is approved. Let's switch now over to the certificates. The certificate screen is going to show you all the certificates that have been issued through Certicord. This is a subset of the certificates that appear on your CA, uh, such as your Microsoft ADCS uh, certificate console. Uh, here you'll see certificates along with um, some enhanced metadata. So for instance, uh, this certificate here we can view uh, you'll see a certificate ID that's uh, uh, unique to Circord, along with the CA-issued serial number, uh, fingerprints. You can see the subject, and it's the subject alternate name. Uh, the cryptography in the key in, in the certificate, along with uh, information such as um, when it's valid to, who it's valid to, what the extensions are. Um, you can download the certificate if you want. Um, and you can also see uh, what special permissions this certificate may have. All right. Also in the certificate section, uh, you'll find certificate authorities. So these are the CAs that have been imported um, from Active Directory in this case. So these, are, uh, these CAs are used uh, both for issuing as well as um, trust. So you'll see the, this last column says trusted. So any certificate authority that's listed here as trusted will also be managed on each endpoint using the Certicord um, agent uh, to maintain the uh, trust files in different formats. So you don't need to do that manually. The, the, the trust is automatically updated um, if there are any changes uh, to this list, 
um, and you can control which CAs are, um, are maintained as trusted and which are not. Next up, we're going to be talking about certificate policies. So certificate policies are imported uh, from Microsoft ADCS templates or are statically defined for global sign uh, CAs. So here you'll see these top few sections, uh, top few rows are uh, templates that have come from ADCS. Uh, this is a one-way import process that's done once you configure access to uh, ADCS. Uh, you can see the basic parameters from the templates um, and these are used when CertiCord creates requests to the Microsoft ADCS uh, CAs uh, to make sure the format of the request is, is compliant and that the right template is used when a request. Certificate mandates are one of CertiCord's great features. They are a requirement to create a certificate of a given type and recipe. This is a very powerful tool to enable certificate provisioning at scale. Each certificate mandate allows you to specify a purpose or a usage, such as server auth or client auth, or whatever you need. You can also specify a name, an alias, and the formats to export the certificate as. Once you've created a certificate mandate, you can assign it to a specific device, or even more powerfully, device groups including Active Directory device groups. Now let's dive in and see how it works in action. Certificate mandates are controlled here on the Certificate Mandates settings page. As you can see, there's no mandates to start with, so let's create one. I'm going to create one called um, Int Web Servers, and this is intended for internal web servers. So. Uh, we're going to assign it a purpose here of web server, which means uh, create a certificate with server off as a usage type, and that we want to apply it uh, to web server products. Uh, let's also say we're going to export in JKS and PEM, um, which is pretty typical format, so we're going to save this. And now we've created this uh, certificate mandate called int web servers. The next step is to mandate it to a given entity. So we're going to do that here. Uh, we're going to go to the device groups. And we're going to go down here to our test group, and we're going to edit it. Now, this test group um, is from Active Directory. It's defined there. And what we're going to be doing is applying some uh, the, the certificate mandate here in our product. Uh, this is going to uh, be stored in the CertiCore database. It doesn't actually get pushed back into Active Directory, so we're not going to make any changes to AD. So we've assigned it here, a uh, certificate mandate. Uh, what this means is, once we save this, any device that's in the My Test one device group will uh, be required to create a certificate uh, according to the Int Web Server's mandate. So every device will, um, when it checks in over the next uh, few hours or 24 hours at maximum, uh, will create these certificates, certificates automatically. Uh, you won't need to log into the endpoints. Uh, you won't need to create anything manually. It'll be done automatically. So all we have to do is save it here, and it's now in effect. If we want to come back, we can have a quick look at it. Uh, you can see the certificate mandates here are listed. It's just the one into web servers. That's really it, and you can really do some powerful stuff with this. Um, it doesn't really matter if there's just one device in this device group or tens of thousands. You have just created certificates um, at scale very quickly and very easily. That concludes our demonstration of the CertiCord Enterprise Management Console. For more information, we invite you to visit us at Revacent.com, where you'll find more product information as well as information on how to contact us if you do have any questions or need help in the X509 PKI space. Thanks so much and have a great day.